Good morning, family. Good morning, good morning. What a beautiful day it is here in St. Mary's, Georgia. Did I get that right, St. Mary's? Yes, you did. We're in St. Mary's, Georgia. It's a little brisk, but you could tell it's gonna be a really good day. It's super early, it's like seven in the morning. <sighs> Feels so good. Let me give y'all a little taste of this view. You can see somebody's already out there on a boat or something. People are out already walking their dogs and stuff. Such a beautiful place. Hey fam, so listen, uh, what I discovered about this place yesterday is I like it a lot. See, when we're down on the other end, I think those people are like, they, they're there for months and months on end over on the other side. And I told Don, I said, I like the other side, but it's so quiet over there. I feel like, because when you go on the other side, we're going to drive by there just to show you what I'm talking about because we've been over there so many times. But the other side, I think those people have been there a while and they're super comfortable because there's one, or, there's two RVs that I know every time we come, they're still here. Like their setup has been here for a while, right? So I feel like, I don't know if they are full time or what, but on that side, those people pretty much stay to themselves and stuff like that but being on the other side over here which I was afraid to come on this side because of the signs and the water and stuff like that but now I realize that the alligators are not going to bother us these sides are paved I never knew these sides were paved I just thought everything was you know on rocks and stuff like that but you come over here and now you see they have cabins they have the little uh ramp what do you call that i think it's like a gazebo over the water i don't know what yeah. that is so we'll go down there later today and the people over here are just super friendly you know like one lady wanted to make sure that we felt welcome she was like welcome 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 i mean she's a little tiny little thing <laughs> i was like she is super cute and, and she walked over and gave me a magazine and she was like, I want you to read this magazine. You got to read every article. It is so good. So if I can, I'm going to introduce you to her and then I'm going to show you the magazine. <laughs> All right. And um, it's just, you haven't said good morning to the fam. Oh, what's going on, fam? Good morning, good morning, good morning. A lot of y'all saw me in yesterday's video, uh, just while we got <laughs> set up and everything like that. But uh, good morning to you guys. <laughs> it was a couple questions. Where's Peggy? She must have been tired from hooking up the RV. I was inside trying to make sure I could use my sewing machine and stuff because we're getting ready to get out here. We're going to be out here for like three weeks. So I was inside making sure I could get my setup going and it looks like it's going to be a success. Yeah. So the only thing we have a lot of gnats. Yeah. You know how you have like uh, bunches of them. So we're going to have to go and try because if you look right here, you can see it's just a ton of yeah, them. Yeah, just one little, you know, like it's it flying little balls, I guess you would call yeah, it. They call them, yeah. You just call them a net, a net of gnats. A net of gnats. So we have a net of gnats. And so we're going to try to get some citronella or something. Yeah, we get some citronella and yeah. some repellent and stuff. And I'm going to set up the outside. You know, yeah, we're going to do a full, full setup this time because it's just like that. And we'll be here for several days anyway. So. Yeah. All right, fam. So we will see you inside. I guess we're going to Walmart this morning. Yeah. Because we ran out of propane for our... Uh, Blackstone, and we just need to get a couple things. So. Yeah. All right, fam. All right, fam. Hey, guys. So, we're here in St. Mary's. I hate Walmart. I had that music playing in the background. But anyway, um, they allow RVers here. So, this is the first place in a while that we've seen that allow RVs to park here in St. Mary's, Georgia. So, if you're passing through the area, you need a place to park. 
you the need night. a place to rest for the night. They got their step down and everything and sitting out. So. What are those for? Sleeping shoes. Sleeping shoes? Well, not for, you know, like house shoes. Men's slippers. You oh, I wouldn't wear <laughs> You wouldn't? <laughs> no. <laughs> have made it home and I'm going to go over this quick grocery haul with you guys. It's not really a grocery haul. I just want to show you what we have. Okay. So I got these bowls, bowls, plates, cups. I got these from Walmart. They were $1.68 each and I don't know what they're made of. It says they're made from recycled material, but when I tell you these are pretty heavy, sturdy, these will be good for camping I'm telling you, these are just really nice. So we got four bowls, and then we got four plates. Now, I like these plates because, as Donald mentioned, when we... I don't know what that is, but I'm about to wash these dishes real quick anyway. But, uh, as Donald mentioned earlier, he likes the way that the plate has, like, a little lip or something on the side here. So when he's eating outside, his, if, if we're having baked beans or something, they won't roll off the plate. So I like that. These were $1.68 too. We only got two of these cups because we have plenty of cups and we left our spoons and forks at home. So we got these, you get three for like 96 cents or something like that. So we got a couple bananas. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill Donald's refrigerator up outside so that he won't have to run inside so much because he likes to be outside. So what I'm going to put in his refrigerator is his green tea. We got more somewhere unless he's already started drinking them. So he's got the green tea that we're going to put outside, the orange juice, and the Lunchables. I like to make sure that we have these three things at all times when we're camping outside for Donald. That way he's taken care of. Oh, and his fruit too. He loves these little uh, dice pears. Y'all saw that in the last video. Alright, so I got me some breaded okra. I'm going to be deep frying those outside. And then I, I have a taste for nachos. So I got me some ground turkey. I got the taco seasoning mix. I got the picante sauce. I got cheese and then they didn't really have much to choose from today so I just grabbed these I think they'll be okay they're thin and crispy I don't like a real thick chip anyway so they'll be fine I know this is not healthy but we love that bologna 
bologna and uh, egg sandwich. If you've never tried a bologna and egg sandwich, give it a try. You'll love it. You will not be disappointed. Oh, I got these jalapeno peppers also for my nachos that I'm going to be making on tomorrow. And I forgot sour cream. Ah, I got to go back. But anyway, I got some uh, creamer, sugar, and then Donald got these chips for when he has his uh, lunch, uh, his sandwich today. He's going to have a um, cold cut sandwich, so he'll have that. And then y'all know I am a serious, I am a Viva snob, baby. I love me some Viva. So let's go outside. And Well, first I'm going to wash these dishes up real quick and then we'll go outside and load up Donald's refrigerator. All right, fam. Check for me. fam so as you can see I've put all well I put all the groceries away and I relined I relined all the shelves so it's looking pretty nice and neat in there and I'm gonna tell you this stuff helps with movement when the uh, RV is moving you see I got it over here I just got this piece because it keeps it from sliding when the RV is moving so I always keep that piece right there because I don't want that to fall but anyway, we've done that. So now we're going to take this stuff out and fill out the fill up the refrigerator outside. We're going to we're going to uh, burn the citronella candle. It is really, really strong because, as we said earlier, there is a ton of gnats outside. So Donald has graciously brought me the off. So I'm going to go ahead and spray myself right now. All right, fam, so I always clean it out with this spray right here. I just got it from Walmart. You can see the great value there. All-purpose bleach cleaner. Refrigerator's cleaned out. All right, fam, so I've loaded this up. This is enough for a couple days. For him, I try not to put too much out here because sometimes we forget and it goes bad. But I just put enough out here enough for maybe two or three days. So he should be fine. Alrighty. you away to 
break from the city It's been so long since we've been gone So that's about it. Got the outside set up. Of course, it's too early for the uh, fire pit to get going, and I need to go get some uh, on some firewood for that anyway. But it's a nice, comfortable spot for us for the next couple days. I'm gonna sit out here and chill, use my little fridge, get some drinks, some pot, some uh, pears and stuff, and have my little snackables and just relax and enjoy the sun. We gotta get the Citadel camera going though, so we'll go ahead and get that light up because there's a lot of gnats out there. I don't know if it's short up on camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and light that up and I'll be done with the setup. But we'll be done with the setup. Thanks a lot, babe.